This video is sponsored by Tradewell. Welcome to season two of the AG Office Project. What started as a two person company making over this desolate empty space, not even knowing if I was gonna be able to fill all the empty desks, has turned into a nine person operation complete with an HQ where we edit, a workshop where the amazing DIY projects come to life, and now our third space where we'll film content, have team hangouts, and where Palmed Marketplace will operate out of. I'm strapping in. Hit it! Yes! <laughs> Getting out of the hanger. Today's a little bit chaotic. Ooh. Mentally, physically, emotionally. I don't like that at all. I don't really know the science behind it, but fingers crossed for us. So let's AGFI this new team space. Let's get started. If you are not yet subscribed, you will probably want to be subscribed. We are renoing this studio. We have tons of episodes coming out in this series, plus Studio Fix, which I know you guys love. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell so you're notified every time I upload. I leased this new office because we were bursting at the seams here where I'm sitting at the Team AG HQ. We were shipping out Palmed here for a while. So people had to like climb over boxes to get to their desks. Also when I film, I'm disturbing all the editors who are working. So I just knew it was time for another space. Wanna also mention that we are all continuing to work in this office. This is where we do all of our desk work, where we have all of our team meetings. But in the new space, it's gonna function as our beautiful shooting backdrop. So I really get to make it feel cozy, homey, pushing myself to try new things, but then also sticking with old favorites. And I really want to turn it into a Team AG apartment. I want it to feel like me and my brand, including bringing in all the pink I want. Hi everyone. I am so excited to start this video because Team AG has a new office and it's finally time to make it over. This building's a few minutes down the road from the OG AG HQ. Anyways, I wanted to give you a walkthrough of the space. It is filled with things we use on a daily basis. We just went to Morocco and got samples. So there's stuff kind of, you know, in places, but you'll get a general sense of what the space is like, how we leased it. Okay. So that's our door, you walk up the stairs, and we have this beautiful patio. We're thinking team drinks in the summer, like look at the trees, it's so beautiful. We're gonna be making this over, and then this huge window just blasts so much sunlight into the actual office. So then you walk in, there's a coat closet. This, right off the bat, is the bathroom. Tiny little bathroom, but it's just nice. This is going to be where Carla has her desk. Carla doesn't work with us full time, but she sometimes likes to work out of our space. So she's gonna have a little area here. This is what I'm calling the kind of like lobby area. We're gonna have really comfy chairs, coffee tables, just another space for people to work quietly if they want to slash need to. This wall was put up by the previous tenant. No idea why it totally blocks all the natural light coming through. So we're gonna knock this wall down and create a banister, like an open banister, so all the light can flood through. This at one point was an IT closet. It's going to be a storage closet for all of our gear. And then this room, we're using as a makeshift shipping room. This is gonna be where I film anything from like social content. I wanna start doing more outfit reels. We're gonna have an area where we shoot stand-up. Stand-up is basically like when I narrate a makeover video. And then this room that Amanda's in right now is gonna be our meeting room. We've actually been taking meetings here. It's kind of sad because it's not decorated, but Amanda and I just have meetings that like we need to take separately from you know, the rest of the team, we don't want to disturb anyone. So this wall's coming down. All the doors are just like so beautiful, stunning. I love it so much. This is our cute little kitchenette. My goal is to tile the whole kitchen in like a bold tile. Like I'm thinking all the walls, the floor. We have this awesome storage closet off of the kitchen. So this is gonna be where we put a lot of like overflow. Randomly has a beautiful skylight, the most beautiful storage closet I've ever seen. Another beautiful original door. Like I have a thing with doors like this. They're just, they're stunning. 
And then this is gonna be the palm shipping room. So we're gonna have a long table in the middle where people can ship things out from. All of the walls are gonna be covered in shelves. So we just have tons of storage, like floor to ceiling storage. This is a cork board. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. It's kind of cool, but this is gonna be the palm shipping room. Is there another cute door here? Yes, there is. Like, so cool. That's the tour. Very exciting. Thank you all so much for being on this journey with me. Let's get started, I guess, today by talking floors. My job is really physical and we are about to go into a huge reno. So I've really been focusing on strength training, getting my body feeling stronger so I can actually knock down walls and lay floors. I have been using Trainwell, genuinely have been loving the service and the app and I can't wait to tell you about it. Trainwell is a platform that pairs you with real trainers and uses cutting edge technology to make strength training effective and exciting. Strength training has so many benefits. It's made me feel so much stronger in my body so that when I'm doing these big makeovers, I don't feel intimidated. Strength training is also not just for bodybuilders. It's for people like you and me who don't really have that much experience. These workouts are gentle, but really effective and target all all of those areas that I want to strengthen. Okay, so here's how it works. You download the app, you get matched with a personal trainer, and you actually meet with this personal trainer face-to-face -face over a video call to talk about your goals. My trainer's name is Chris, and she has been with me every step of the way. She is literally in my pocket. She sends me motivational videos to start the week. She checks in with me to see how the workouts are doing. I can message her after a workout to say, this didn't feel good, or this felt really good. I told Chris that most of my workouts would be done at home. So she tailored my workout plan to use body weight, a few weights that I have, my stairs, just things that I can use around the house. I love that each movement in my workout is super, super clear. There's a person there doing it, showing me how it's done so there's no guesswork. It's even counting me down. If you have an Apple Watch, you can actually do the workout using your watch. And so it's just really easy, really accessible. Truly your workout is like a touch of a button away, which is so great. The first 100 people to sign up for Trainwell using my link get 14 days free and $25 off their first month. Reach new fitness goals and maximize your fitness with Trainwell. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna be tackling is floors. I have some floor samples or a sample of a floor that I'm thinking of that I'm gonna show you in a second. But I got Graham here. Hi. He is going to help me take up a piece of the floor because you never know what you can find under flooring. It's called the floor lottery. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's like a thing. Cause like people buy these like century old homes. Yeah. There's like three layers of like yeah. vinyl. Yeah. And then they rip it up. Yeah. And it could be it's... like beautiful art deco tile or it could be like just plywood. Fingers crossed for us. Okay, so this little chunk is already up a little bit. I'm gonna be replacing the floors in the bathroom at some point too. So Graham and I are going to do this section. We've got a multi-tool, a hammer, a crowbar. I think this is actually called like a cat paw or something. A cat paw? We like cat paws. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this isn't glued, so I may Whoa. be able to actually just like, yeah, we'll see. Oh. Yep, keep going. The whole oh, floor. Oh, okay, so this one's coming. <laughs> Yes. 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 How are we feeling lottery-wise? I see plywood so far, but we already knew that. I'm always optimistic about these things, but Graham kind of said not to be, so. Yeah, so this feels like... Quarter inch. Very thin. Okay. And this feels like it's on top of something. On so, top of something. something. Yeah. Something meaning beautiful hardwood. Is that necessary? Oh, don't cut over here. <laughs> she did not. Okay. <laughs> Maybe start over here and then push that way. And then make it sing a song for you. <laughs> it's singing a song. A beautiful song. It's kind of automatic, you know? Hold on. Oh! Oh! Subfloor. Subfloor? So yeah. not hardwood. 
Okay, unfortunately we didn't win the floral lottery. It's not in great condition. It's like this brown color. There's huge gaps that we'd have to fill. But as a backup, I've already reached out to probably my favorite flooring company. They provided the floors for my apartment and we love these floors so much. So the company is called Stuga. I remember when I was shopping for our apartment, it's just really overwhelming. You're like, what color is this? I can't get a good idea of what it's gonna look like. But Stuga has such a great curation of beautiful, beautiful floors. This sample's called Giddy Up. Love that it's more of a blonde color. I'm really not loving the orange. Amanda, you wanna come see? Oh. <laughs> it looks great. They're lighter, right? And brighter. Yeah, perfect for your vibe. As I told you guys, I'm knocking down this wall to do a banister to like let all this beautiful light in. And Graham has a theory yes. that there might be um, a banister behind here. Oh, I hear something. Oh my gosh, I hear something. Oh, oh. No, okay. It's a properly built wall. Okay. <laughs> Disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, now we know. That's where I'm at with the kind of preliminary stages of planning. Can't wait for this makeover to start, if I'm quite honest. I can completely visualize the space. So I just wanna like start. Hopefully soon I'll have more updates for you. Okay, bye. Popping in from the future with an announcement that you don't wanna miss, I am having a pop-up next Saturday, October 26th, and I will be launching the Fall Palmed Collection in store at SoCo Living, Queen West, Toronto. You can come meet me and Team AG. You can try on new colors of slippers. I'm also launching textiles and vases for the first time ever. So you can actually see them in the store, not just on my website. If you RSVP, you you will get a discount code for shopping Palmed and SoCo Living items. All the info is in the description box below. Okay, it is the evening before demo day. We're all honestly feeling a bit stressed. I think it's gonna be a pretty big project to undertake, but I wanted to just show you what the space looks like. We have been using it in like a very minimal kind of way. This wall was painted bright pink because for my Wayfair series, we were doing an episode on Mexican pink. So that's why the wall's pink. We're currently working on a social brand project. So we're doing like stripey doors. My clothes are in here. <laughs> if you don't follow me on Instagram, then you might not have seen me move my entire wardrobe in here. My closets at home were just like not big enough to hold all of the clothes I need to do my job. So that's why they're here. Oh, of course, the space that's been used the most by the team has been our outdoor space. That was one of the first things we were gonna make over. Again, we filmed this over on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you're only getting half the story. Follow me there, because you would have missed this makeover. All of this furniture is from Article and this awesome planter that Graham built. We also painted this window, this beautiful green color. There's little command hooks because we quite literally had a movie night out here with a projector. It was so fun. It's just been a vibe. The team has been using it a lot. Yeah, it's been so nice made the team happy all summer. It really has. So it's been a really, really useful space, but we have to move everything out. We're gonna probably do that tomorrow morning off camera because we have to take up all the floors. We have to knock down a couple walls, but I know it's gonna be worth it. It's just the calm before the storm, I feel. We're all feeling that way. So yeah, see you tomorrow for demo day. It's gonna be, it's gonna be great. <laughs> Okay, it's the next day. It's officially demo day. Graham and I are gonna start by taking down this wall. This is gonna become a banister and we wanna let all that light in from the window. So we're gonna knock it down. I'm very excited. This is the first time I'm ever using a sledgehammer. This is mine. <laughs> yeah. This is yours. We also have hard hats because what's a reno episode without a hard hat, am I right? <laughs> okay, let's do it. <laughs> that was insane. It's like the smallest, cleanest hole. And you start, you just can't stop. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like, that is, that's amazing. 
Just a note here, we did terminate all the electrical going into this wall before we started tearing it down. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Whoa. to say hitting this wall is extremely therapeutic. I feel like I'm getting, I don't know, lots of pent up anger out. down to the studs. Take, taking it down to the studs? That's definitely sure. not what's happening. We're taking it down to the studs. <laughs> also, like, <laughs> I've had serious, like, serious conversations in the last, like, 15 minutes wearing this. <laughs> okay, goodbye. Okay, we're back. Knocking down another wall. I feel like yesterday was just great practice, and now I'm like, I'm ready. We should write all the things that we... That we're mad at? Like, that you want done. Oh, okay. Like, from your, you know? Okay, now write your word in there. I was thinking bigger. Like, <laughs> like, almost like graffiti style. Um, um... Hang... Oh! oh. <laughs> I, was I was like, like um... um anxiety. anxiety? Is that how you... How do you spell it? I-E-T-Y. I E T Y. Okay. This is a good exercise. Oh, shame. This got like really deep emotional. <laughs> Fear. Fear. Good one out, Sandra. Sadness. Sadness. Be gone. IBS, maybe? Yes! Yes! Perfect. Okay. Let's knock them down. Okay, this room looks so much bigger and it's just gonna work so well for what we need to use it for. We're gonna do a big meeting table in the middle, maybe a TV so we can like project presentations or calls or whatever. Elena and I have a dream of doing like a cabinet or a drawer with all of our samples, maybe a mood board. Yay. It's time to bring up the floors. We're gonna start here. I'm lifting them up as if I know what I'm doing. Do I just like rip them? Okay. The first row of floors, we do have to break. So they're gonna snap in half. But for all the rest, we are keeping these intact. We're being very careful. We have a system going because Graham is actually gonna reuse these old floors at his family cottage, which is awesome. It's a team effort. While we pull up the floors, we've got team members stacking and then wrapping the floors in neat little bundles so they can happily go to Graham's cottage. It's kind of fun. We flew through that and I'm feeling pretty proud. Like I had no idea we could just pull up some floor and we pulled up the entire office floor, which is so cool. Okay, it's time to roll up the cork. Graham, Alana and I are gonna have a race. See, there's like one, two, three pieces and we're gonna see who can roll them up the fastest. Put your votes in now. Graham, me, or Lena? Gentle people, start your engines. And may the best woman win. Three, two, one, go. Why is this so funny? Yeah, seriously. 
I can't believe how much we've gutted this place already. I am so excited for tomorrow because it's floor day. We're laying the new floors down. Okay, demo has officially come and gone. We're no longer in the demo phase. Graham and I are gonna start laying the floors today. I have never done this, so wish me luck. Graham, have you, you've done this, right? Yeah, I've done vinyl. He's done vinyl. Let's do it. I learned something new today, and I want you all to pause and look down at your floor if you have hardwood or vinyl flooring. Notice how your floors are probably staggered. This is what makes them look like they were kind of just naturally laid. Floors aren't normally like plank to plank because then you'll see all the seams. So that's what we're doing. We are trying to figure out how to stagger these floors and what pattern we're going to use when we're laying them down on the floor. Tip for you if you're doing this, there's lots of like diagrams online or patterns that people have used when laying their own floors and that really helped us figure out our pattern. So we've got our measurements so that they all stagger nicely and now we are going to do the first few cuts. Graham is starting the process by making three cuts. That means we're gonna have four different lengths of boards and this is gonna be how we start our pattern. First, we gotta put the underlayment down. This is good for absorbing moisture. It's a sound barrier. We have to put it down. So that's what we're gonna do first. The previous tenants had a whole network set up and we don't really want to take all those wires out. So that's what you're seeing. These will be behind a closed door. Lots of wires, we know. Graham and I are stopping laying the floors, going back to the other studio because we are doing a members only live where we do our own version of the Hot Ones Challenge. I'm terrified, but all to say, if you guys wanna watch that, we'll have already filmed it. We have so many lives that we've done that you can watch if you've run out of AG content. The link to join the membership will be down below so you can get access to all those videos, including future us eating chicken bingies and hot sauce. We're back. Yesterday was kind of weird. Graham and I were being pulled in a million directions. We had meetings back at the other office. We had to do a live stream. I don't like that. Ooh, <laughs> I don't like that at all. Today we are hustling. It's 9.45, we have all day to do this. We've got a piece of the vapor barrier down for our first row. So we're just gonna get to it for real. Like for real. Editors, roll the time lapse. So the floors I landed on are the Giddy Up floors from Stuga. The reason I chose these particular floors is because I know that this studio is going to get lots of wear and tear. We're gonna be shooting in here, using it all the time. So these floors are even more impact and scratch resistant than other floors. They're waterproof, which is really great. They're budget friendly and DIY friendly. These are floating floors, they can't be stapled. So that means you could float them over an existing floor or subfloor, like we're doing. These floors use a locking system. So we have to make sure each plank has the locking system to basically lock the other piece into. You'll see it looks like a gradient with the planks and we're building lengthways and then out. It may seem like we're jumping around, but it's a giant puzzle. And when you do it, it just becomes intuitive. But Basically, we can't leave any gaps. All these floors fit together and you can't add a piece after. You have to go in the flow of the system. We are just going to move on to the next room because we want this to be continuous. We're not using any transitions. It's gonna look so luxe. So we can't continue this way. We gotta continue this way. I'm putting down the full pieces of hardwood and Graham is measuring and cutting pieces as we go. He's passing them to me and then I'm installing them. Okay, now that we've made a lot of headway, I can see how beautiful these floors are gonna be. Not that I had any doubt, but like, wow, they're stunning. The boards are really, really long, so it gives like a really luxe feel. And I am just absolutely in love with how these look. We got so much done today. Honestly, I didn't think I could do this and I did it, which is very exciting. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We need to finish off a couple of studio, of course. We're back and we are finishing the floor in the main room today. Our system still stands. Graham is measuring and cutting, passing them to me, and then I am installing them on the floor. We 
last freaking piece. And that's it. <laughs> that's a wrap on floors. Yes. I know that was an endeavor, but we did it. Guys, we did it. Yay. <laughs> we laid the floors. That was fun. Uh, Stuga sent this little champagne bottle. I think they put this in like every little pack of floors they send. And the instructions, if you had read them, said pop this before you get started. Whee! Whoa! That was fun. You burst it out of frame. <laughs> the camera didn't see any of it. It was beautiful. You guys missed it. <laughs> James can add it in post. Now that we've got the confetti out of the way, we are gonna start on a banister. So you know we took that wall down, best decision I think we could have ever made in this space. And I pinned a few bi- He was trying to hide that hole, it was so funny. I had pinned a few different banisters, some metal, some wood, but they all had one thing in common, they were colorful. So we thrifted this banister on Facebook Marketplace for under $100. Fun fact, you can find people either throwing out banisters, selling them, giving them away for free secondhand, which I feel like is something you wouldn't really think about buying secondhand, but we did. Graham gave it a fresh coat of paint. I went with Jawbreaker. I'm gonna be using that color in this room, certain accents, so we're starting with the banister. Oh, it looks like a little dollhouse banister. How cute. Okay, to start, we have some prep work to do. We're gonna sand the walls, this pillar, get everything painted and prepped, and then we're gonna start the install. Nice. This wall needs a bit more work. We need to put another coat of putty on it. So we're actually not gonna be able to install the banister today. That's gonna be a tomorrow thing. In the meantime, I'm going to paint this pole the same color. I think it's just gonna look cool. And like the banister was always was always here. I have no idea what the 150 is, 150. Not even close to our address. We're gonna leave it here. It's like in the pole. It's just character, right? We don't wanna get rid of what was already here. So ignore the 150, <laughs> we're keeping it. Let's get painting. You guys are gonna have to picture this like without the bright magenta pink wall, because that is going as I've mentioned, but it's just funny because we're painting all these colors and you're just gonna have to block it out of your mind because it's not gonna be there. Bye, wall. Okay, it is quarter round time. We're reusing the quarter round that was here before. I'm gonna use my nail gun, pop some nails in, and then we're going to putty and paint. You might be noticing that there's a bit of brown here from underneath the quarter round peeking up. That's because the floor is a different height, but we're gonna go in with paint afterwards. So I'm just gonna paint over that. Graham is caulking and filling in the nail holes on the quarter round. That's it from us today. I'll be back tomorrow. We got a lot done. Tomorrow we are going to be officially installing the banister and then you guys get to see the beauty shots of where we're at. Bye. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to actually hit me. Me either, I can't really, I couldn't really tell. So. Okay, hi guys. It's the last day of Renos. I feel like this has been a journey, mentally, physically, emotionally, but we're here, we made it. So we are going to finally install the banister. I'm so excited about this. This is throwing it off. So we're just gonna focus. Remember, jawbreaker, cute banister. Cute little spindle. Cute little spindle. Cute little spindle. Cute spindle, cute spindle, whimsical spindle. Oh, I like some alliteration. Super sweet spindle, adorable spindle. And I was like, there is 27 of these. Mm -hmm. 
While I'm unboxing these, wanna let you guys know that picking paint colors for this entire space has been so tricky. There's too many colors, I don't know which ones to pick, and they all have to like flow into each room and work together. I went back and forth a million times. I'm telling you this just so you know it's okay. If you've been there, same. Splendid spindle, super cute spindle, self-centered son of a spindle. <laughs> I'm going to put the base of the banister down. I'm gonna start with some construction adhesive. Let's hit it. Now we are gluing the end of the banister to the wall. Graham cut it in half so that it sits flush against the wall and it is looking so good, like it was always here. How cool is this? How cool is this? Can you hear me? Yeah, where's yeah. your mic? Yes, uh, this is gonna look so beautiful. Nice, nice. Oh my God, yes. Hit it! Getting out the finger. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> This looks so good. Like really, really beautiful. It's feeling like a little home, which I love. Pretty much gonna live here secretly. I think you should. Like, okay, so Graham needs to do one last screw to attach the banister to the pole. Solid. We could probably hang off it if we want. Oh. He's a problem. Yeah. I don't think we need to. No one hangs off the banister. <laughs> Maybe I do. I honestly had never really considered that you could paint a banister. Don't know why, because it was super easy. And it just looks like custom and fun. Very excited about it. I'm strapping in. <laughs> Graham is going to paint the trim, the quarter round, and then I'm going to roll. Wait. What? I think I have an idea. <laughs> but the thing is, is that you can get paint. See? <laughs> First try. Paint. So it's not that great. It's working. It's working. You see the difference, right? Yeah. Like it looks so fresh and clean. Wow. Okay, so let's take a look at the befores of this office. There was this giant wall blocking the potential for all of the natural light to stream through it. The floors were so orange and there was a wall in the meeting room separating it into two different spaces. After many days of hard work, are you guys ready to see what the space is looking like now? Reminder to check out Trainwell at the link in my description box. Next up on AGTV, I'm tackling the main space. This is where we're gonna be shooting a ton of content. Graham and I are gonna be shooting our AMG debrief show. It's going to be so fun. You don't wanna miss it. And we're finally gonna say goodbye to the pink magenta wall. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to see this whole studio come to life. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Graham is painting. Okay, you might have to back up a bit. Graham is gonna paint. <laughs> Today we were talking about Graham and I 
trying out to be on the amazing race yes and i need to know in the comments if you think we should yes so do a clapping emoji if you think in the comments if you think we should apply